Hello. Wi-Fi cameras. Today we're talking Wi-Fi cameras. When you're talking Wi-Fi cameras, you got so many options. Do you choose it for features? Do you choose it because it works with Google or Apple or Amazon? How do you choose? Well, it's a, it's a tough decision. So for me, it's all about how it integrates into the smart home, what it actually does as far as security, because first and foremost, you want to secure your home. That's what a security camera is for. And so the features are really lend themselves to that. But of course, it's a bonus to have it added to the smart home. So today we're talking about a company, Ufi, that is pretty smart home friendly, but also has come out with some great security products. We're going to do this uh, integrated solar panel camera. It's called the SoloCam S40. We're going to unbox it and set it up and check it out. But uh, I think it's cool because uh, it's got an integrated solar panel and a spotlight, two of the more sought after features in a security camera nowadays, at least a Wi-Fi security camera. And it's 2K resolution, which is pretty decent resolution. So I want to just see if it lives up to it. Um, so let's get started. What up, everybody? It's George Langenbeer with Silver Hammer Surveillance. Here on the channel, we talk tech and we talk security. Today, we're kind of talking both again. As I said in the intro, we're going to uh, unbox and set up this Eufy camera. It's a integrated solar panel, or excuse me, solar panel camera, which is cool. It's a standalone camera. You know, some of the Eufy cameras, you have to have a hub. This is a standalone unit. Um, but I think it's cool because it's got a spotlight and the solar panel built in. Sometimes you got these solar panel cam cameras, which are great, but you've got this gaudy solar panel right next to the camera and it looks terrible. So once we get this out of the box, I'm curious to see how small this is and uh, how cool it looks um, because sometimes aesthetics can be important. You want to secure your home and that's most important, but come on, we also want your house to look nice. Um, so we're going to check this out and uh, let's get this bad boy open. So yeah, Ufi is cool because they integrate with uh, all the different um, smart home platforms. So you got Apple, you got Google, and uh, Amazon. So that's one thing that I like about Ufi. You know, a lot of them will only work with Google and only work with Apple and so on and so forth. Hopefully Matter, which is forthcoming, will solve that. But right now, it's nice to have a company with like Ufi that kind of works with all the above. So when we open the box, we got the camera here. And it's actually smaller than I thought it was going to be. I was expecting some big mama thing that's going to stick out, but uh, that's not bad. I like how it's all integrated in one piece. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see what else we got going on here. Yeah, so instead of having that, like I said, gaudy solar panel next to it, um, or, you know, sometimes we have customers that uh, ask about lighting and, and they'll get an electrician and get a big spotlight next to their camera. Um, because a lot of cameras, uh, no offense, ring, their spotlights suck. Um, so you end up getting an electrician and get a real spotlight next to a normal camera. And that's not a bad idea because lighting can be very important when securing your house. Um, so, you know, you got to kind of check out a camera's night vision and that kind of thing. But if the night vision is kind of lacking, lighting can be important. So I'm curious to see how this spotlight does. So we got a mount. Again, pretty small amount, so, so far it looks like this is going to be pretty unobtrusive, uh, unobtrusive on a home, or a business for that matter. Then you got the mounting hardware, and some screws, and a charging cable. That's the other nice thing about this camera is that it's battery powered. Um, so it's pretty much just completely, um, you know, you don't need to worry about wiring it. You don't need to worry about having a solar panel. It's a nice standalone unit to go in your house. So let's move on to setting it up. All right, so when setting this up, uh, one thing I will note that uh, they don't include a charging brick. I'm assuming we're gonna have to plug this camera in, so just keep that in mind. You, you might wanna have a brick laying around. I'm gonna go to the Eufy app. And Eufy's got a pretty decent app. It's very, it's very easy to use. These devices are very easy to set up. So here you've got all the different options of Eufy products you can set up. So we're just gonna go find this uh, so look cam spotlight. There it is, so cam solar. Press on that particular camera. 
and then it's going to ask me for my Wi-Fi password. All right, now I'm going to press the, the cameras. So we're going to open this little lid here. Maybe. There we go. And inside there, Teresa, if you want to zoom in on that, there's a little sync button. And it's telling us there's also a, a picture of that in the app. And then we're going to press that button until we hit a beep. And this is the case for most UFI cameras. They all kind of set up the same. There's my beep. Hit next. And then it's going to generate a, a QR code, which is pretty cool. We're going to use the camera to scan that QR code. Connecting to the Wi-Fi network. That's pretty Please sweet. Wait. A little unique. So you can see here on the screen, I got the Wi-Fi code, obviously. You can see I'm also just aiming my camera at it. Setup was successful. With most UV cameras, you get the cool little voice assistant telling you what to do. All right, so we've added that successfully. I'm going to hit next. And... Um, we're just going to call this the front door because I'm going to put it right out outside the shop here. So it's asking me what, uh, what I want to name the camera. You can also do a custom name if you want to. And I'm going to hit next. And we wait. All right, so then it gives you the battery life options. And again, this is pretty standard for UV uh, cameras. Uh, so you can optimize the battery life, um, or you can kind of be more on the heavy recording side, which might might kill the uh, battery life a little bit. But in this case, it's a solar panel camera, so hopefully we don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to go for optimal surveillance, and we'll see if the, that solar panel really does its job, because then we don't have to worry about the battery. All right, so it's telling me to fully charge the battery before mounting. It's telling me that it takes eight hours to do so, but... Um, we're going to skip that just for the demonstration of this video. All right, now it's telling me to go ahead and mount the camera, so let's go do that. Okay, so basically I just went and got a ladder and a drill. I got a six-foot ladder, and that's my general rule of thumb, as I've talked about in other videos. You want to at least make a thief. You have to get a six-foot ladder or more to get to your camera. So my rule of thumb is usually 10 feet high. And so I'm just taking the screws that came out of the box. And uh, I'm under it. And we're just going to mount it. And again, I'm just going to go to the top of my ladder. And we just got three screws to hold this bad boy up. It's your pretty standard uh, thread mount. All right, so that's pretty easy. Then we're just going to thread the camera on the back. Close up the. Uh, Little weather seal here for that uh, sink button was. All right, and then there's this little uh, adjustment here to make it tight. And then you got a little uh, tightening mechanism here to make sure the camera's in the position you want. I'm going to go down a little bit, and we'll see what kind of shot we got here. George, shouldn't the solar panel be on the top? Oh, yeah. Good call. Good call, Teresa. <laughs> 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 All 
All right, let's go back to the app. All right, so we're back on the screen where I left it, where it basically told you what to do to mount it. I'm going to hit next. And then it's showing me the image. It looks like a pretty good shot. Maybe just a, yeah, I mean, it's a good shot. It's got my signal strength there, which is cool. So it tells you that the camera is going to connect to your Wi-Fi all right. And it's also telling me that it's just a good spot to mount it. So I'm going to hit next. And then I'm going to hit update the firmware. So let that do that, do its thing for a minute. Okay, so we did the firmware update. It said it was going to take 15 minutes. It took about 10, so it went quicker than it's supposed to. I'm not sure what was in, involved in the firmware update, so I'll have to do a little more research on that. But um, now that we've got it up and we can see the video, let's go in and recap what I think. Okay, so the camera's up, looks good. The video looks good. As usual, the uh, 2K looks good. You can see the uh, surveillance sign where the word surveillance, how clear that is. Um, so the video looks good, the, the audio sounds good. Same thing with most UFI cameras I've tried. So just to kind of sum up, this camera has the built-in solar panel. It's got 600 lumen ultra bright spotlight. It's got color night vision, which is great. It's 100% uh, wire free. You can see how easy that was to install. Um, so we'll see how long, how well that solar panel works. I'm gonna have to come back with a follow-up review video because I don't like to review things after one day, but so far so good. Um, Eufy's got the advanced person detection. It's not quite as advanced as NAS with the facial recognition, but it's got advanced person detection, which is great. So it kind of eliminates all those false alarms. And then it's got an IP67 um, all weather protection, which is some of the best weather protection you can get on a camera. So you can feel pretty comfortable putting this camera anywhere. Again, we're going to do a little bit more of a review in the future once I've used it for a while. But in general, what I could say about Eufy is it's very smart home friendly. My only thing is, you know, it's great with Google Home and it's great with Alexa. Usually, you know, there's several models that work great with um, HomeKit and actually HomeKit Secure Video, but they seem to be a little iffy on that sometimes because they've got several cameras that do it. Then they'll promise other cameras like their doorbell. We've all been waiting for their doorbell to get HomeKit Secure Video. They said they were going to do it. Now they're not going to do it. So I don't know. I just worry about HomeKit as an Apple guy. But um, as far as uh, Google and Alexa, you're good to go. This particular camera is not HomeKit compatible, so keep that in mind. Um, but Eufy does add that sometimes, so who knows, maybe this will get added to HomeKit in the future. But in general, I mean, very simple install, and um, come back with a review later. So hopefully you like this unboxing, you like this little setup process, very easy. Hopefully you like this video, smash the like button if you did. Hopefully you love our channel, we enjoy having you here. We appreciate your support very much, so please subscribe. And uh, come back and check out our next one. We're actually going to do a, uh, you're going to see me in the same outfit because we're going to do another unboxing. So we'll have a second video coming right behind this one. So enjoy that video. And uh, until then, peace and love.